time now to welcome our first guest. And as we mentioned, she's just been awarded the BAFTA Fellowship, the highest accolade BAFTA can give. And now she's turning her hand to music. Please welcome the supremely talented Samantha Morton. <laughs> Nice to see you, Samantha. Hello. Welcome to the one show. Lovely to see you. Hi. Hi. Welcome. Thank you. Lovely stuff. Uh, good to see you. We'll be talking singing a bit later, but congratulations on 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 the BAFTA. Uh, Thank what you a very night much. it must have been. I believe actually, you were beyond surprised. You actually thought it was a mistake. Yeah, I did. I got an email. We'd gone to see uh, my family. Had gone to see my neighbour Totoro at the Barbican, and we'd been we couldn't go earlier, so it was a really big thing for us as a family and. We went off to get ice cream at the interval and I don't eat ice cream. Anyway, so I was sitting down and <laughs> as we, we're all addicted to our phones, well, I am, it's a really bad thing, but I, um, I checked my phone and I had an email and it, it said what it was and I was like, I said to my team, no, it's a mistake. It's because my agent looks after another Sam. Oh. And I said, um, I think it's for the other Sam. And they went, no, it's for you. And then I just sat and I burst into tears. And, oh, my goodness. And I thought, like... I was worried that people might think something was wrong, and I was like, no, I'm all right, I'm all right. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I did think it was um, not for me, but, yeah. What moment? But even the tears then, because you gave such a heartfelt and powerful acceptance speech. Let's just remind ourselves of it, actually. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> you see, the stories we tell, they, we, they actually... They have the power to change people's lives. Film changed my life. It transformed me, and it led me here today. Yeah. See that it gets me emotional because no matter how important was it to speak about things that really matter to you, like representation on screen? Well, I think growing up, um, first of all, in abject poverty mm -hmm. because of what happened to Nottingham in the 80s and the lack of employment and Thatcher closing all the mines, sorry to get to that, um, my family suffered and I ended up in care, um, in and out of care for when I was very, very little and then made a ward of court in 1989. So I was in many children's homes, many foster, 12 foster homes, which is nothing compared to kids today. But I had a very disadvantaged childhood. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't go to drama school, ended up not completing my education, so left school at 12. Um, so, yeah, for someone like me to even have a career outside, even have a career mm. or have a family, a loving family, is, is to me, a, a bit of a miracle. So that was never... It's, it's not that you don't dream big or, or reach for the stars or any of that stuff. It's just... I, also, it's like we, we live in a, a country that does have class. Mm -hmm. And I'm incredibly working class and I've no prejudice against anybody from a different class, but I just never thought that that would happen to... to mm. me. Visibility matters, right? Mm. It, Absolutely. Yeah, so. uh, it's been some career as well, varied, and it's about to change again to your yeah. next challenge. We'll talk <laughs> singing uh, very shortly, but congratulations thank again uh, on the BAFTA. But from Samantha's uh, beautiful thank you at BAFTA. Now, we were talking to Samantha earlier about her BAFTA fellowship. She's also won Golden Globe, been nominated for two Oscars. Ooh. She's done all right to Samantha. <laughs> Not a bad career. But now you're turning to singing. Has this always been a passion of yours? How did it come about? Well, I, um, when I was very little, would uh, kind of do a bit of session singing. Uh, I tried to get... Uh, singing with Nightmares on Wax uh, many, many years ago. That didn't really work out, but I... When I was, like, 13, I was too young, but I fibbed about my age. So it was always there. And then now I'm in a band with Richard Russell, the amazing Richard Russell, and we have our album coming out. Mm. Wait, how did that duo come about? That was... He heard me on Desert Island Discs and I think some of the tracks uh, kind of made him... I know, he's a, an amazing musician in his own right. Everything is recorded. He's an incredible producer and musician. Worked alongside Gil Scott Heron, Bobby Womack, to name just two. And I, I think initially he wanted to sample my voice for one of his Everything Is Recorded tracks. And then I went to meet him and I was like, yeah, you can have it. Oh, my God, that's amazing. <laughs> yeah. And then um, it turned out we just started talking and then a connection happened and then we... I was writing stuff and he was sending me some music and then I was writing things on the piano and sending them to him and it kind of cool. happened. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the single's called Let's Walk in the Night. You not only wrote it, you, you sing it, you direct the video as well. And actually it features the next generation of young actors that Samantha works closely with in Nottingham. Let's have a look. <laughs> Shine, <laughs> fair 
festivals. Festivals, yeah. yes. Perfect. See, you mentioned your albums, Daffodils and Dirt, but yeah. on it, you actually got to work with a musical hero of yours. I did, yeah, Ali Campbell. Oh, from UB40. Yep, yep. So How was that? I mean, I have no words. <laughs> I mean, yeah, um, on my Desert Island Discs, um, UB40 were there, very, very important band to me growing up. Um, yeah, it's amazing. Your mum's a fan as well. Kingston she? Town yeah. is a favourite. <gasps> oh, my gosh. Is that your one? Oh, my gosh, right. When you watch the films, we've made a film, yeah. right, as well. Just remember that this moment. <laughs> OK. Right? Now and I'm in tune. Watch the like... film, yeah? Right, I will. Oh you my can gosh! Watch an after. Oh my There's God. a story here. Is there a story here? Yes. Okay. Right. Oh my gosh. Oh, right. oh, that's just really wow. I have no okay. idea what's going on now, yeah. but, uh, but right. I can't wait now to watch oh, it. Oh my gosh! <laughs> yeah. uh, well, thank you. The new <laughs> single. Now I can't wait to watch. Let's <laughs> talk in the night is out now, and that album Daffodils and Dirt is coming in June. Yes. It's time now to welcome our Strictly stars, Karen Howard, Carla Scoo, and Diane Boswell. <laughs> <laughs> They know how to do oh, a war. Oh, you still get the hips! Yeah. 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 The hips, the hips. Three bars of cha-cha-cha, though. Exactly. Uh, welcome, welcome. Congratulations, you three. Yes. You're hello. You three, like, Karen, I'm going to come straight to you because we know dancing is such a physical, demanding thing, but after watching that film, what do you make of that? I mean, I've had three nights of underground, but of <laughs> partying. <laughs> <laughs> but that's that's it's insane. Demanding. Yeah, it's amazing though. But I mean, it's it's so hard physically already for us athletes. is 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 incredible, mm -hmm. um, incredibly hard. But to do that, and especially to do it in the dark, in the dark. yeah, it's, it's quite it's, something. It's, I mean, I'm afraid of the dark. Samantha's but... taken on some physical challenges through films. You wouldn't mind a bit of two hundred miles in a. I don't know about bar. running because I've got bad knees, uh, but yeah, but, yeah. yeah. Uh, military training for a role, which yeah. was crazy. I just oh, wow. had my baby four months old, and then you're playing an ex-soldier um, in the 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 the, the war and you're, and you're like, oh, my gosh, OK, so military training was, wow. yeah, for six months. So she's ready. Let's sign up. All good. I know, right? It was <laughs> amazing, though, as well. Like, I would never forget it. And there's so many skills that I learnt from those people and that I take with me into my life now. And yeah. so it was, yeah, yeah. yeah. it was so great. Cool. Diane, Discipline. I feel like for yeah. you three, the dancing never stops because you've just finished a celebrity uh, Strictly tour. We now have. it's the turn for the professionals. What can you tell us about it? Well, there's 12 of us amazing professional dancers, um, obviously touring up and down the UK, uh, doing what we do best, which is dancing. Um, but it feels really personal to us because this is a chance for us to show everyone what we're really about. And we're so up close and personal with our audience. Um, and I feel like they feel really... Um, you know, like they get to be very close to us. They usually see us on a TV screen and then we're all of a sudden in touching yeah. distance. So mm -hmm. it's really cool to see their faces yeah. and be so close mm -hmm. to them. Um, so yeah, it feels really personal for us and them. It was really funny last year as well. It you was weren't really expecting funny. it. Funny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was really, really funny. Yeah. Uh, Karen, dance captain this year. Stop You're it. in charge. <laughs> what does that like, entail? Be well, funny. Yeah, being in charge and keeping all these ducklings right. in line. <laughs> We're naughty. No, naughty, no, naughty. <laughs> and it's, it's, it's lovely because I obviously adore all of them. So, but my my role pretty much is to make sure that if anything, you know, anybody misses the cue or if there's any, you know, when you start getting tired, you know, mm -hmm. throughout the, the the tour, you know, things start kind of, you know, people start relaxing a little bit. <coughs> and I'm like, Carlos, oh, Carlos, sometimes we do sometimes. double shows. They back do to seven back. a day. Yeah. That's how good they are. Seven yeah. a week. <laughs> <Seven Yeah. laughs> Day. Carla, no. is, she, is she a good dance captain, Carla? You know, she, like, we, we've been too naughty and she's just like a mum to us, yeah. you know? Oh, I, she's I, could be your mom. Of I could be your mum. <laughs> Shut up. Wait, I suppose a big thing on Strictly is always the music. So, yeah. Karen, what can you tell us about what songs? I mean, we have some amazing Elton John songs. We have no your way. song from Elton John. We have Tina Turner. We um, have an amazing Fosse medley. Oh. Um, you know, it's it's just incredible, the, the different styles of, of music mm -hmm. that we get to dance to. And obviously, our choreographer, Jason Gilkinson, is just extraordinary and is a complete genius. That's so one of my we're films, the Bob Fosse, yes. Sweet Charity. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Oh, yes. Because I 
Yes. I didn't Get like musicals. Oh, oh, big coast. spender. You're going. Yeah, you so know. I loved, Annie. Annie. Yes. I loved Annie growing up, but I was like, I didn't really like a lot of musicals. And then I saw that, and it blew my mind. Oh, it's exactly yeah. the same. And then I started watching yeah. the Fosse thing on telly, yes. and I was like, Oh, oh my God! Yes. Oh, you better come to our show, darling. Yes, come on. The tickets are free for you. You should be in our show. Yes. But you mentioned it actually before because obviously you go on tour with the celebs, but now this is your turn. Do you just feel that sense of freedom and actually you're, <laughs> you're showing free. what? Not at all. I'm going to miss Bobby so much. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I love. We love working yeah. with our celebrities yeah. so so much. Like to see them grow every week and and taking them on tour is, yeah. is magnificent. But this is so special because you know we are all professional dancers. We've done it since we were little kids. And to come together and create such an amazing show is is a beautiful thing. So yeah, we're all very excited. And is it to like that it. storytelling and through the music as well? Yeah, we are. We're literally telling a story through through dance. So mm -hmm. hopefully, we'll make everyone laugh and cry and feel all the emotions with us. Yeah, it, we, we we watch, don't we, and think, oh, that's what it's supposed to look like. That's <laughs> what it's supposed to be. <laughs> Never got hey, there. Alice, Sam, you get your tickets. Uh, Alison says, uh, I've got my ticket. See you in Oxford. You start in Oxford oh, May the first, yes, you all the way uh, for a couple of months. Um, message here from Brian. In. Um, this is you, Samantha, amazing actress. Congratulations to Samantha on her fellowship of BAFTA in February. Her part in She Said was so powerful. Yeah, and the last one, I will never forget Sam Morton in Cracker. Could see then oh. that she was exceptional and would be a star. Yeah. Oh, wow, Aww. thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. I know you're looking for some break dancers as well. Speak yeah. to Carlos about it. <laughs> yeah. um, uh, yeah. Tickets for uh, the Strictly Professionals tour is available now. And Sam's actually got uh, a gig, a live gig, June the 20th at the ICA in London yeah, as well. Good luck with that, Sam. Thank Thanks so much, so guys. Much. Keep you. dancing. Keep she's, dancing. She's, she's the only one working at the moment. You two. Just <laughs> uh, we'll be back tomorrow at the earlier time of 6.30 when we'll be joined by the stars of the new Famous Five film, uh, Ed Spielers, uh, Diana Babnikova, Fla uh, Flora Jacobsy Richardson and Kip the Dog. Don't uh, forget the dog. Plus, we've got singer Gabrielle and the stars of Saturday Night's Gladiator's Grand Final. Have a lovely evening, everybody. Goodbye. <laughs>